Welcome to this short yin yoga stretch class. We will stretch out the wrists and the hands. So if you type and text a lot during the day, then this class is perfect for you. Come into a tabletop position, moving into a simple wrist stretch, keeping your spine and neck parallel to the ground. Rotate both palms so the fingertips point towards your knees. Spread your fingers wide to keep the weight evenly distributed throughout your hands. And you probably already feel a stretch here. Try to think of shifting your weight back into your hips and push into the knuckles of your hands. So the more space between your knees and your palms, the more it intensifies the stretch. So be mindful and find your edge in this pose. So usually we hold poses for three to five minutes in yin yoga, but with these poses for the wrists and the hands, we don't hold them for quite as long, about a minute and a half for each pose. start to slowly lift your palms off the ground keeping your fingertips on the ground and hold here. You maybe want to inch your knees a bit forward towards your hands to make it a little bit more comfortable and you can rest your hips on your heels, bending your elbows a little bit, taking the stretch more into the fingers and the hands as opposed to just the wrists. Slowly peel your hands off the mat, sitting down on your heels if you haven't so far and just shake out the wrists and take a few wrist rolls here to release that. So you can either stay kneeling with the toes pointed or with the toes flexed, which makes it more intense. Bring your palms behind your back, palms together and choose if you want your fingertips to point straight down or you can flip the hands pointing straight up. Keep the heels of the palms pressing together for a nice stretch in your wrists for this reverse namaste or prayer pose. Close your eyes. Keep your shoulders gliding down and away from the ears. And try not to puff your chest out too much so the spine is nice and long and maintains its natural curves. And let go of the prayer position, make a few wrist rolls in one direction and then the other. Come back into hands and knees for the second wrist stretch. Place the back of your palms on the ground, fingertips pointing towards you and spread them really wide again. 
you may only need to shift back very slightly to feel the stretch here, for most of us this is quite intense. Try to keep the backs of the palms flat to the ground as much as possible, pushing the wrists forward and down. So if you do a lot with your hands during the day, maybe you're a writer or you play an instrument, or you just type in text a lot on the PC or your phone. The wrists can get quite tight and this will free them up. You can stay here with the back of the palms flat to the ground or you can start to lift them off the mat slightly so that the fingertips stay on the mat. Maybe sitting on your heels fully, inching the knees closer towards your hands to make it more comfortable to hold the pose and then release. You might want to make some gentle movements here again, rolling out the wrists very gently. So please come to sit on your heels if you aren't. Nice and tall spine, reach your arms straight out to the sides and then make two fists. Wrapping your thumb around your fingers and then like you're pouring something out of a big jug or pitcher, getting a nice stretch into the sides of your wrists, extend them out to the sides like a side bend for your wrists. And then let go, release, maybe shake out your hands, so shake them down and then maybe shake them up a little bit, try to get some movement. This is really good if you have pain or carpal tunnel syndrome. Really therapeutic for your wrists and all the tiny joints. So shake them up, shake them down, just shake, shake, shake. Keep shaking just a little bit longer. And then let go of the shaking. Palms come on your knees or your thighs. Thank yourself for making it to your mat today. For taking care of your wrists and hands and yourself. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. If you like this class, please give it a like and comment down below. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button to support free yoga online. Thanks again and practice again with you soon.